Danielle, you didn't seem to enjoy the Ireland trip very much. I just wanted to go and have a really great time. Bachelorette party, like, so much fun. I've been praying for this bachelorette party. Cocktails and spirits. Is that a nipple? Oh my it's God, no. <laughs> and I just felt like, you know, the kid that you pick, pick last in the kickball game. Everybody was just attacking me. You've spoken behind my back when I've treated yeah. you nothing but nice. It's it's took you a left turn because, because you are being influenced by the shit that other people are telling you. I'm gonna tell you something, Point Black. Yes. That's why you're gonna have problems in your family your whole life. It sucked, it sucked. And I'm talking about my brother and I miss my husband. I, I'm like mentally going back to that mm -hmm. spa right now. I'm gonna yeah. cry. I was like, just get me out of here. I was exhausted. Danielle wasn't the center of attention on the trip and I think that really bothered her. It's what? eerily nope. I leave it no. similar. Right. No, it's just, it no, no, no. Wait, no, I have, um, have a red paper. paper. Yeah. Okay. She says that she's not having a good time. She didn't think this was great. I had a very hard time in Ireland. It was like Mean Girls times a million, to be honest what? with you. And every one of us, hands down, thinks it was the best trip we've ever taken. We're having a great time. We're loving Ireland as a country. It's, you know, Dolores invited us here. You know, we're in this amazing castle. What's not to fucking love? Even if we bitch at each other a little bit, we're in God Europe. We've been in a lockdown. We haven't taken a cash trip like this in forever. It's the best. And this girl, who's never been out of the, I guarantee you, has never even been to fucking Europe, is bitching. I've been to Europe before. I've been to Italy, Greece. No, I've never been to Italy, never been to Greece, oh, never really? been to France, only been to Turkey. Literally, never been to Europe before. And it finally goes to Ireland and is like, and complaining. It's also not it looks so easy to yeah. watch them. Everybody's familial breakups and problems aren't about you and your brother. Everything's not about you. I'm sorry. That's about them. It's like, Jesus Christ. Talk about wanting to make yourself the center of attention. The spirit of a girl's trip and what I wanted for the girl's trip is for everybody to be upbeat. Okay, you can have your moments, but laugh a little. You're not involved in any of the I drama. I guess I had my own thing going yeah, on that I didn't even fine. I didn't even like pay, like notice. What do you got to notice for? Everybody's got a fucking coddle. No, this isn't the coddling group. This isn't pre-K where you get a nap and a fucking blanket and a snack. <laughs> this is not that. Wrong group. She's very guarded. There's something yeah. very guarded about her. Yes, and, for um, sure. It's just concerning, just in general, because if someone's going to be super, super guarded, how am I supposed to open up to them? Yeah. I don't think there was one time where Danielle like let loose and just no, like now that you say that enjoyed right. in the fun with the group. You're right. Yeah. Not my party. Honestly, Melissa, I can't hear anything you're saying right now. My insides are ready to go. Why you pissed? Not your party. Who the f wants to be friends with people like that? I don't. Dude. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. I'm done. Therese is housewarming. How is she there? She fought, was fighting with Jackie. Why did you just get your hands out of my face? Thanks. First of all, you're from Staten Island. You know if my hands are no, your but face. I don't want not. Your hands this is how face. I talk. This is how I talk. She doesn't know how to argue her point without like either screaming and crying and leaving or smashing the table. So she fits in beautifully with this group. Yes. Dolores, you and Frank have a conversation about your changing dynamic. Everyone who knows us knows the, what the relationship is. Paul doesn't know that yet. Somebody coming in as an outsider would be like, what's really going on with them? But it's your job to set it straight. But I also have to consider his feelings. But in my opinion, there's no reason you can't do that and us still have the same relationship. But he's the guy in my life. What are you talking about? I hate to think in back of my head that he's intimidated by me. He's not intimidated by you. Do you say so? Oh, I know stuff. So. Paul's come into this not knowing me and Frank at all. Paul didn't know anyone who knew us. Paul just knows here I am, and I'm very close with my ex-husband. Listen, there's definitely a shift with Dolores, Paulie, Frank, Brittany. It's, it's hard, you know? It, it's sad because it is like a, a closure. You know, I go to pick up the phone to call you. I, it's, you know, it's, it's seriously, it's like my mother. You know, I get an urge to pick up the phone and call my mother. She's not here anymore. Right. You know, not that you're not here, but I, it's like, you're almost like you're off limits. And I don't want that. There's boundaries being set, and it, it's definitely different. I want to be able to talk to Frank. Good. I want to be able to be friends with him. I want it to be the way it was, right. but also comfortable for Paul. Frank needs to grow up. And you guys had a great relationship, but it's gone. So that's been my navigation through all this. I understand it. Everybody's not David where, 
you know, they welcome in Frank with open arms and open bedrooms to move in. David, I can't thank you enough for taking care of me. The greatest thrill of my life was throwing you in the shower for the first time. What's another thing, trying to grab my balls. But you know what? I totally get it. Listen, I happen to love their, their meeting when Frank was doing the bunny shoot. Dolores has kept us apart as well. I don't think so. You can't ask a woman to do a man's job. She doesn't need it. You know? I got her now. I texted Dolores after I saw that and I said, your boyfriend's stock just rose two points because that's hot. You don't <gasps> want Frank to, no, to get like the jerk No, off. it's not about you, Frank. You, you, I love Frank's Frank. Frank's a good dude. Frank's, 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 a good Frank's dude. the tank. Okay, yeah, Frank's but, the tank. We love Frank. It's not about Frank. But, but Frank can overtake a room real quick. Yeah, and but I think like, Paulie but, was like, you're good now. Yeah. I mean, I get it and I understand where Paulie's coming from, but I feel bad for Frank. And I don't think Dolores is gonna like me saying that, but I do. You need to push him to spend time with us. I can't push him. It has to be organic. And I understand what Dolores is doing out of respect for Polly, but I think Polly could give a little more. And I think he's a great guy. I just think he could give Frank a little bit more room. Of course, it hurts us all <laughs> to see this I like know, I love, I, I break know. up. But Frank's like a little puppy dog. Like really? I thought I know, we but, like, made he a has pack. He's a girl too. Like he's getting laid. Don't worry. He is. Like, he's getting he's laid. Good, happy. But he, I think he, he wants his cake and eat it too. Yeah. With Dolores, totally. He always has had that. I understand also why Frank and Brittany are sad because they've been close with Dolores for a long time. I mean, Brittany's been around and people don't realize it. So she, Brittany's also very close with Dolores. I mean, she's done Dolores' hair. Brittany's also trained to understand totally. that like Dolores will always be here, you right? I mean, she totally, I mean, listen, she came into their dynamic right. and understood and accepted the situation okay. for what it is and was. Right. And we've had that conversation before. Right, because you're really close so, with her, right? Yes, yeah, so like, she's happy, but you know, that doesn't work for everybody. So I do feel bad for Frank, but it's also like, I'm happy for Dolores too, because this is like a new chapter for her. This is a new beginning and she deserves it. I've worked on this relationship and I've made it so nice. It, and you know, a long time ago, I, I realized if two people can get along, then, they're, then they should be able to be around each other. And that, that's for me and Frank. And we didn't fight. If we fought, if we've ever fought, then I would say, I don't wanna be around you. Yeah. Did he get on my nerves? Sure, he's a fucking mess half the time. Frank is made not the greatest decisions in life. It hasn't made things easy, but I, made it not to resent him and to make a family out of what I have. And that's what it's gonna be, you know. But again, I love Paul and I want him to be comfortable with things too. So, it's a magic trick I'm doing. <laughs>